Hi, I'm Nina Marie Bojekian. I'm 27 years old, and I'm the chef owner of Ula La Catering and Events Company, a couture catering company in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey. And today, I'm making fig stuffed gnocchi with white truffle, parmesan, and herbs. This is my dad, my father, Steve. We're just relaxing right now, having a glass of wine. Every night, since I've been five years old, we sit at this counter and have a glass of wine together. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Tasting the water, the watercress. Tastes like bad breath a little. This dish I just pretty much just dreamed up. I really love figs and I was, at first wanted to make a fig dumpling. I was trying to Google recipes on that. I couldn't really find anything that I liked. And I never really made gnocchi before. So technically, when I made this a couple years ago, fig stuff gnocchi was the first gnocchi I ever made. So now I am kind of a gnocchi queen. I'm gonna put a little bit of fig compote in each one. This fig compote is dry figs, black mission figs, with a little bit of shallots and Aleppo pepper and pomegranate juice and a whole other bunch of secrets that I'm not going to tell you. And I fill up each one, try to do it as evenly as possible, and I do them in little mini batches and then roll them out each by hand. So it's kind of intricate. It's kind of intricate time-consuming, but I gotta I close each one with the fig inside and roll it in my hands. And there's been times where I've had to make 400 of these, but it's definitely worth the time. Oh. Salt the water. It's like magic. Drop the gnocchi in. Let it sit for a minute or two and then lightly stir it around with a wooden spoon. And when it rises, it's ready to sear. want to let it sit and get a nice sear, a little bit golden brown, and we'll just keep turning them so they're nice and crispy. Salt, black pepper, white truffle oil. Toss it around. It smells delicious. Good amount of grated cheese and fresh parsley. Toss it around some more. And now it's time to plate it. Sometimes we use lollipop sticks. Sometimes we use these little fry, French fry forks. I really like all my plates to be whimsical and fun. I don't like to take food too seriously. It's supposed to be enjoyable. And what better way to have fun than have a nice adult style lollipop? Here at Ulala, La, we like to tough it out. Working in the back of a storage room, we have our bar over here, our dessert station over here, and our saute station over here. I think a good way to describe to help describe myself as a chef would be, I absolutely love mustard, and I cook with it all the time. I love honey, and I cook with it all the time, but I can't stand honey mustard. So I think that kind of shows a little reflection of who I personally am as a chef. My family has been very supportive, and they all think that they're either chefs now, or they think that they're food critics. They're very into... Why are you shaking your I head? I like what you're doing. I that's think that's my hilarious. Mom. See, my mom is constantly trying to tell me what to do. <laughs> I'm an open-minded person. Uh, I'm comfortable with who I am, and I really like, I'm fine and comfortable putting myself out there, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where my career takes me. And 
I also love relaxing with my son, Charlie, and that's about it.